Hey everyone, so I wanted to show you this really cool new uh, search interface that we just shipped the other day. Um, it's really powerful and it's going to help you uh, find all those uh, all those purple squirrels, uh, impossible find candidates that, uh, that, that you're looking for. Um, so to kind of show you what we're doing here, I'm going to create a new uh, create a new rec here. It's going to be for a Ruby engineer in the, um, in the SF Bay area. Um, and one of the first kind of major differences that you're going to see here is that we've redone what we call basic search previously into simple search. Um, and one of the most powerful things associated with this is that now you have the ability to add required, optional, and prohibited search terms. So here in simple search, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to focus in on kind of some of the skills that I'd like to see associated with this, uh, this candidate. Um, in my case, I'm going to say that my candidate um, needs to have Ruby on Rails, um, he needs to have experience with jQuery and he needs to have experience with Sinatra um, and, um, and you know we, we have type aheads but if you have a term that you want to uh, create that's not in the type ahead you just go ahead and hit enter and then what's kind of nifty about them so I'm gonna say that if I want them to be in the San Francisco Bay Area and what these are doing is these are searching across all of our different fields right now um, so it's you know it's not as powerful as the faceted search under advanced, but it's nice and kind of quick. Um, and then say for instance, I said that I, I wanted him to maybe have Hadoop experience, but you know it would, it's not necessarily a must-have, right? So these are required terminologies right here. So any of the results that come back are going to have Ruby on Rails and jQuery and and Sinatra and San Francisco Bay Area. But you know a nice to have is Hadoop, right? Um, and then maybe I might do something like, um, you know, and I don't want to have, um, I don't want to have recruiters in my, um, in my search results. So I'm going to make that a prohibited term. And so I'm going to go ahead and search for that here. Great. And it brings back, um, you know, all of these different, uh, all of these different folks here. Um, I can also save this search off to say, you know, if I wanted to save this as, you know, Ruby, um, jQuery, Sinatra Bay Area, but again, these are searching across all of our um, um, all of our different um, fields. A way of getting more powerful, though, um, is to use the advanced search functionality here, and this is essentially a way by which you can construct Boolean queries in a visual fashion. Um, so you can use any of the different facets that we have here, so keyword or skill or location. Whereas before with simple search, we were searching across all of these. This way we can get kind of really powerful. So for instance, we could, if we wanted to make it the same as we were doing before, we would do and you know Ruby on Rails and jQuery and you know add a field and Sinatra um, and in the um, in the San Francisco Bay Area here, um, but say for instance we didn't necessarily want it to be, you know that. Oh, and then also, excuse me, um, you know we're gonna go ahead and say and you know Hadoop is a nice to have here, right? So rank the guys with Hadoop's Hadoop at the top. But say we wanted to get you know broader here, we said okay, actually it doesn't have to be Ruby on Rails. It could be like you know any scripting language I'm cool with, right? So we could do that. We could do PHP. Right, um, we can do Perl, you know that sort of stuff, um, and then uh, we can run this, you know, the same search again. Cool, and it brings back, as you can see, it brings back a pretty similar set of uh, of folks to whom we uh, we saw we saw before. Um, and like, actually, let's say if we wanted to expand this instead of just the San Francisco Bay Area, let's say we want to do, or you know, in the Seattle area or, you know, in the Los Angeles area because we want, you know, they're going to be more likely to be willing to re relocate. The other kind of nifty things that we added this time around is the ability to filter based on what contact vectors are available on these different, um, these different profiles. So you could say, hey, you know, show me all available contact vectors. Or you could say, you know what, just show me the people who have email or Twitter, right? Um, and that, because I only, like, those are the folks that I want to see, you know, first and foremost, because I, I want to be able to um, email them there. Um, so in this case, this, this gentleman right here, uh, Ilya, you know, we've got all of his different contact vectors here, which includes email, we have all of his job history, along with his, um, kind of his weighted interests here. Like, in this case, he's really into Ruby, and looks like he's really into JavaScript. Um, and you know, per our search, Hadoop is in there um, somewhere as uh, as well. And of course, you can save these these ones off also. Um, so that's the new safe search. We hope you like it.